Hello everybody, it's Patrick and tonight I'm going to go take you through the next session of my slimline pen videos with finishing the pens. And to finish the pens I'm going to use this Doctors Woodshop Pens Plus uh, which is a walnut oil shellac uh, mixture. Uh, it's a friction polish to polish the pens. And I'll put a couple coats on these but it goes fairly quickly. So I've got a pen already set up um, and we'll go ahead and get started. Start by shaking the uh, friction polish here pretty well. I've got one whole pen set up with nylon bushings. This will allow the friction polish to get into the ends of the pen and also not make the uh, make the bushing stick. So you don't have to worry about cutting off the pens from, from the blank. Alright, so we start by putting a little bit of polish on these. Go ahead and add it in here. Put this up a little. There we go. So just get some polish on there and then hold it fairly tight until you feel the burn. Now, it, uh, this definitely gets warm. Hold it this way to see in the camera. I mean, with just one coat, you can tell the difference in the shine, hopefully, between these. Now, I was using normal paper towels, regular paper towels, the white kind, and you know, bounty, and it was actually putting marks in my pen. Switching to this Scott's shop towels, I don't get that same uh, same issue. Plus it doesn't uh, burn through as much and burn your fingers. So it's another good good sign. There we go, that one's done. Now I'll go ahead and put a coat down here on the second one. And I want to uh, splatter on the camera here, so alright, just get another handy tear off here. Now, I know people play with the speed of their lathes. I don't have an automatic one. I've got a belt driven lathe. So I don't like to uh, take it apart to change the belt. It's not that difficult to do, but it's just a pain. Um, so I am turning, I am sanding, and I am finishing all at 1000 RPMs. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of feeling in my fingers, so I can't tell how hot this is really getting. Kind of go by look and feel of these. It's all right. So I'll go through and use this one again, just to put it on there. So that was one coat. Go ahead and put another coat on here. Now what I'm doing is I'm squeezing this between my fingers, you know, not trying to stop it by any means, but applying a lot of pressure. Not bending down on the mandrill, um, just really just squeezing it on that tube as it's turning. There we go. I'll go ahead and do another coat on the bottom of the pen here. Again, it has a tendency to splatter all over, so I'll go ahead and personally, I've tried CA finishing with CA and uh, didn't like it. 
part of it was the CIA I was using was a fast drying CA and it just got so sticky by the time I got it where I wanted to it just I didn't like it so uh, I've been doing using this um, seems to work fairly well for for me everybody's got their own preference let's go ahead and stop this you kind of see the the shine that's going on here now I'll apply a couple other coats on here You know, there's, I've, I've heard different theories on even applying friction polish that in between in between coats that you let it sit um, you know some people let it sit for a couple hours between coats some people let it set a day between coats uh, I found no difference between once it's pretty much dry like this and, and moving on it hardens and protects the same from the pens that I've done Now this becomes a little bit more interesting when you have a pens with grooves or uh, decor decorations in them that uh, you know, you're not going to get a lot of that polish shiny in the grooves, um, but at the same time it kind of tends to chunk up uh, in those grooves. So you have to be careful and kind of dig it out with your fingernail as it's turning to uh, get some of that polish from building out of the inside. Okay, so there we go. That's and the stuff is sticky. So there's uh, almost three coats here. And I got that all over here. This stuff also does seep down into your uh, pen mandrel. So what I found is uh, every so often I'll soak that in mineral spirits or take sandpaper and try and get the uh, polish off. So that's uh, three coats on there. It's nice, nice and smooth. I know the video doesn't show this as well, but uh, I'm really happy with the way that this is uh, turning out here. So I will uh, go ahead and, and do two more coats at least on this and um, keep going. Anybody know any good jokes? Now would be the time to uh, speak up and tell them. Now the polishing works even better with the uh, cotton cloth t-shirt, rip it up into strips. Um, I just don't have any I want to get rid of right now, so I'm using these paper towels. Go from there. Still using this tray down here just to catch some of the splatter so it doesn't go on a lathe. And then I still got my stock of uh, little towels here. That's three.
fourth coat here. Now I found with a lighter color wood, this walnut oil will turn it a little bit darker. Um, on some of my pens, it, like a curly maple for instance, it gives it a, kind of a nice flare to the, the grains and the curly maple. Uh, so if you have lighter woods, I would test first to see how different uh, finishes are going to react on the pen. Um, I had finished a few pens that I thought were really nice, and then I, I did this to them, and they turned out, yeah, they were still nice, but not what I expected from a color, color perspective. This worked really nice on Bloodwood. It, uh, I was really happy with that. Okay, so that's four. Well, that's about it. I'll do a couple other coats of this and then uh, move on to how to assemble the pens. Thank you for watching. And if you like, as always, if you like what you see, please hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you.